What's going on everyone? I'm Mickey. Welcome back to Lace of Solutions, the number one DSD software. Today we're going to continue our live demo series and we're going to cover consignment. So what is consignment in the DSD industry? Consignment means you leave product at a customer's point of sale and you do not charge the customer for it. Now you wait a certain period of time and you revisit the customer on a second visit. When you go back, you're going to count what's left on the display and you're going to invoice the customer for everything they sold. Now consignment is used for scan based trading and it's also used by a lot of the companies that distribute to C stores and leave those little displays that you see full of cell phone accessories. Um, but those are two examples. There are many more examples. Either way, let's get right into the demo. On my desktop here, I've got two components. I've got myself my mobile phone, handy dandy Samsung S5. Now obviously it can be any Android phone, but this is just an S5. And my thermal printer. Okay, what we're gonna do is the first thing, I'm gonna open up the lace up application here and we're gonna go to our customer list. That's our customer list. I'm gonna be servicing customer number one. Now when I tap on customer number one, on the top you'll see the customer's information. Below you'll see all the receivables. But I'm gonna to go to menu, create clock in. Now I'm gonna to go to menu. There's a couple options in there. Consignment, sales invoice, credit invoice. We're focusing on consignment on this demo. So let's go consignment. Now the system's gonna show me everything on consignment for that customer. You can see right there, there is a consignment value. There's a little field in red where I'm gonna type in what I counted, and there is the sold and the delivered quantity. So let's get right into it. Let's say the 2% milk gallon, I have eight on consignment. Let's say I go to the display and I count three. You can see right here, the system's automatically gonna fill in the sold at five and the delivered at five. Now let's go into the certified organic tortilla chips. Let's say that I here I count five. So you can see that I sold and I delivered zero. So what I want to do here is I want to change my consignment. I'm going to decrease the consignment. I'm going to pull that product out so that I can move it to a customer that is going to sell. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm going to go to new consignment. And let's change that from a five to a three. Okay, so right here you can see that it's having us pick a couple items in blue. All right, now let's go down the list here. Let's go ahead and count this guy. Boom. And let's go ahead and count this guy. Okay. So I've gone through, I've counted everything. Everything is either green or blue, indicating that we're ready to rock and roll. What I'm going to do next is I'm going to hit done. There is my invoice. Let's go ahead and print this guy out by tapping the check mark, hitting print and printing it out. So out of our little handy dandy ZQ520, we're gonna get the invoice and the consignment contract all in one document. So let me show you what that looks like. On the top here, you're gonna see everything that was sold with the respective quantities, items, quantities, price, all that nice stuff. Right beneath it, you're gonna see the consignment. You can see that I started with 43 on consignment, and now I've got 41. Here's what I counted, here's what I sold, and here's what I delivered. Down here, you're gonna see the terms of the consignment contract, okay, a little note and a, and a signature, okay? I'm gonna show you where you collect that signature now, but either way, invoice, consignment contract. And obviously here's the company's information on the top, you can see it says test company up there, right here. Anyways, now, once we're ready to finalize this transaction because I've taken this to the customer, replenished all the displays, I'm gonna check mark this invoice and I'm gonna hit finalize. Okay, now in the finalization screen, I can collect the signature, collect the payment, print the final invoice, and then I'm done. So let's go ahead and hit collect signature. Boom. All right, and now let's print out that final invoice. Let's do one copy of it. So again, the final invoice is just like the initial printout, but it's got uh, a signature on it indicating that it's been finalized. So let me show you what that looks like. Here you go. So again, invoice, consignment contract, terms. You can see right here, 
that it prints out the customer balance on the final invoice. So what the customer owed and the digital signature. There's your invoice for the customer. When I'm done, I'm gonna hit done. It'll say finalized in green, at which point I can clock out of this stop and start servicing the next customer, the next customer, and the next customer. Either way, I hope that that was helpful for you in showing you how to do consignment on the lace-up system. If you all have any questions, hit me in the comments down below. My goal is to provide you and your company with extreme amounts of value. I'm gonna post one piece of content like this every single day. Please like, subscribe, follow our channels. Uh, my content's not just gonna be demos, it's gonna be valuable business advice and how we've been able to scale lace up. Either way, I look forward to seeing you guys next time. Take care.